Tables appear in many paper forms for entering multiple responses to a single set of questions. The classic example is a household roster in which an enumerator records information about every member of a household that they visit. Here in this video, I'll show how these tables are implemented in digital forms. Here's a simple example of a household roster in paper form. You can see that there are columns here for individual questions, and then rows for the responses entered by the enumerator. You can see also that interviewer instructions and response codes are sort of crammed in here and there, depending on where there's space in the form. So here we have that same household roster, but in digital form. I'm in the SurveyCTO form designer. The approach we've taken here is we first ask how many household members there are in the household. We call that HH members. We then have a group, what's called a repeat group. It's a group of repeated questions. In this case, we're going to repeat HH members times, one time for every member of the household. So in this group of repeated questions, we ask all of the questions that were in the columns earlier, name, age, whether they attended school, and so on. But here, all of the response options and all the logic for validating those responses are built into the digital form. Here I have a group of questions that are meant to only be asked of school-aged children who have ever attended school. So you can see those questions here. And throughout the form, I can make reference to, for example, the name of the household member. And I can even use that to label the individual entries within this household roster. So now here I am on my Android device filling out this digital form. What I'm going to do is say that I have three household members. Say the first household member's name is Chris. Chris is, say, 32 years old and he has never attended school. Now note that the digital form is basically walking me through the household roster questions run one at a time. It's making decisions about, for example, which questions to ask. So there were a series of questions about educational attainment that it skipped because it, I said that Chris had never attended school. Now I'm on to the second household member. I'm gonna say that this is Dipsy. Dipsy is 13. And I will say that Dipsy has attended school. And I'll say that Dipsy has also attended in the last 12 months and is attending school now. And maybe highest achievement level so far is primary two. Now I also want to point out that as I'm filling out this form, SurveyCTO has a certain appearance style for repeat groups which allows you to summarize at the bottom of the screen information as it's being entered into the repeat group. This helps enumerators to sort of keep track of what they have or haven't covered so far. It also makes it really easy for them to go back and make corrections. So if we, for example, think that Chris's age isn't really 32, but is maybe 42, then we can go back and make that correction very easily. We can also, for example, jump back out of the repeat group to say, add another household member if actually we miss somebody and there are four household members in this household. So this interface is how enumerators enter repeated information onto a digital device based on a digital form, somewhat analogous to how enumerators fill out tables in paper surveys. Thanks very much for joining me.